Hey guys, my name is Vijay Kumar Vaka. I am working as Senior Solution Consultant in F0. Uh, today in this session, let us discuss about plug and map object. Okay. Um, yeah. So we'll go through uh, what are the uh, similarities between them and the differences between them. Okay. Yeah. So before we jump into the demo, uh, let us go through this. Okay. So plug versus map object. Okay. So uh, we already know uh, what map object does, right? It constructs an object as an input and also it returns an object as an output, right? So uh, the same way plug also will uh, expect an object as an input, but the only difference here is it returns an array as an output, okay? So if you see in this, uh, diagram okay so for plug and map object these two functions within data view okay so they are expecting an object as an input but when you see for plug it is uh, an array which is an output and for map object the output is an object okay so this is uh, these are like similarities and differences between these two okay yeah so um yeah so let us jump into this uh, small demo okay yeah i have prepared a simple payload okay this is any point studio and uh, i took transform message okay and uh, you see here when you double click on this transform message okay this is the uh, kind of interface you'll be getting like you'll have um, I mean input metadata section or and also output uh, area where you can define the output metadata okay here you have uh, options right define metadata so you can define the layouts or the metadata for this transform message both in input and output as well okay for now uh, we are going to test or uh, we are going to look into the sample data right so just right click on this area click on edit sample data okay so uh, you'll get some white space or some default example okay but um, i have prepared this simple payload right so i just copy pasted that in this space okay so let me double click on this okay so this way we can maximize this window okay so this is the input section okay this is the dw script and this is the i mean this is where we, we could see the output right yeah so click on preview if you don't see this just click on preview once you um, write these two things like once you configure the sample object and also once you write the dw script just click on preview so that it takes this as an input uh, i mean onto the script and uh, it will give you an output okay so as we discussed plug what it it considers okay it considers or it expects object as an input and it returns an array of values okay an array of values just remember like that so and the values could be like array of numbers array of strings or array of objects something like that right yeah so just remember that plug expects an, an object as an input and it returns an array as an output okay so this is the simple payload employee name id work location and the company okay and um, the details the values uh, for these keys so this is an object just an object okay yes so here payload means uh, this input object okay so so on that payload we are applying this particular uh, dw script okay so plug okay i mean let us see the syntax of this this is not responding so that's the reason i have copy pasted this example uh, in the transform message okay so let us first understand the syntax of the plug okay there is no difference between um, the plug syntax and map object syntax 
okay so when you just type this plug okay so this is the default um, syntax of this plug okay so where it is it, it is containing value key and index okay so you have to write your expression here okay so for example my requirement is to fetch only the keys okay so in that case we don't i don't require to configure an object this way right so just type key here okay as it is taking time uh, i just copy a uh, pasted the same input in this transform message this is not responding properly that is a known issue with the dwlang.fun so uh, plug is the function and this is the syntax of that uh, function right and this is the uh, expression or the kind of the format of output I, I am expecting okay so here I have um, I mean I have written this expression as key colon value for example I just only want keys okay so simply just type key here so that it should list uh, the keys let's see this okay some other issue tooling instance issue but yeah it will return the key values actually or else let's try here let me copy the same payload here and same DW script here so see uh, plug is the function this is the syntax and we are uh, our requirement is to fetch the keys of this uh, JSON object so when you type in key here in the expression path okay so it has listed the keys of this object right for example if you would like to retrieve the values simply type value here okay so it is not responding yeah but uh, it gives a list of values as an output okay yeah okay let me take the same example in the new window see it has given values of this object for example you would like to uh, take this object as an array but uh, I mean the content should be like a key key value pair okay so in that case you can write this way so you can even uh, use a combination of uh, all these things value colon key or key colon value index colon value that way you can based upon the, your requirement uh, you can write the expression here uh, for example index colon value okay so it is hard code I mean it is considering it as a hard coded value so you just keep like this okay so that way it will resolve see so this is how see uh, we, we have taken object as an input and we are uh, able to convert it as an array but the contents of the array will depend upon the expression we write here okay so that is what we have seen in different examples right like uh, printing index i mean values or keys or even you can try with simply like index only so that it will print list of uh, index values this way so plug will result into an array in the output but whereas map object uh, it again returns object as an output okay for example here I'm going to put map object okay but here as we would be expecting something like an object so it should be something like key value pair right obviously so uh, let me type it as let me put this way key colon value okay so yeah this is not working for some reason I think 
we got tooling instance something yeah so let me copy the same thing okay let me try here itself and if it is not working yeah see um, this is an object uh, we are using map object so see map object and plug both are uh, uh, considering an an input which is of type object okay and you see here uh, see uh, i mean there is no difference between these uh, this input and output but map object will always return uh, an object you see if i keep plug here it will return an array the same syntax okay but you see an array of a key value pairs but when i replace the same with the map object okay so it has given something like an object simply that we have seen right it's not an array but it will give an object as as the output okay so this is all about the session so if we recap for one more moment one more minute like an object is the input for plug and map object functions okay within data view in mule 4 okay but plug will return an array as an output but map object will return again an object as output okay so yeah the syntax wise okay a plug and map object will have the same syntax that is vki that nothing but value key index okay we know that uh, anonymous parameters right so you can replace this whole thing okay like this for example um, just for uh, making things simple i'll use a uh, plug okay and you see here uh, i'll simply use uh, uh, in order to print the values, I'll I'll simply use this uh, single dollar so that it prints. Uh, yeah, this is also not necessary. Yeah, see, it has printed the values. For example, if you would like to print uh, case, this is the way. So this is nothing but here uh, when you type this uh, syntax right plug function. So what it has written uh, value key index, right? So you can remember the anonymous parameters something like in the same sequence, like as the number of parameters are incre increasing in this uh, syntax. Okay, so prototype. Yeah, so this is like value and uh, this is for key and this is for index triple dollar. Okay, so you can simply uh, remember this way. Okay, so yeah. So dollar is value and double dollar is key and index is triple dollar. Okay, so just uh, let us test uh, by configuring with uh, triple dollar so that it will list the all the indexes, right? So this will have this this particular key value pair is in the first in zeroth index. This is in the first index. This is in second and this is in the third index. Okay. Yeah, so this is all about this session. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and share in your network. Thank you so much.